We are going to do a Christmas story. This is like the alphabet game for all of us initiated. Now what's going to happen is we're going to just go down the line starting with me. I'm going to start a very simple story about Christmas. Can I have you start ruminating on an idea that can be a Christmas-based story while I tell the rest of the rules and then I'm going to ask the group to come up with some kind of idea as to how this story is going to play out. We're going to have those parameters. But I'm going to start the story with a sentence that begins with the letter A. And then next in line is going to be a sentence with the letter B. And we are all going to have to stay on task with the same story. It's not that daunting of a story. And if we get through it all the way to letter Z, we might do it again if anybody out in that audience wants to come up and join us. So now that we understand the basic rules of the game, what's our Christmas story going to be about? Angels. Christmas angels. Beautiful. Well, here we go, folks. A story about Christmas angels. We have to go in the alphabet. And here we go. Angels on the mountaintop are some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. But angels in the valley are some of the most ugly things I have seen. Caroling. Burst out from the valley, though. Entertaining all of you here. Don't mess with these angels, though. Everyone everywhere can hear the angels sing whether they want to or not for no matter how hard you try to plug your ears they still pierce through george was a regular angel but he didn't have the nicest singing voice <laughs> was how george sang all of his christmas songs it was awful irregular laughing disorder was what he was plagued with <laughs> jocularity though his forte was not appreciated <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Kitties were screaming every time George sang. And louder and louder until the glass would break. Many broken glasses, plates, and other forms of flatware. No matter who said stop it, George, he just wouldn't. Ow! Ow! Ouch! I stepped on the broken glass that I caused in my own fervor, said George like a moron. Peace, Neely. He tried to climb up the mountaintop. Cueing his steps up one by one, he slowly <laughs> ascended to the top. Really high this is, George said. <laughs> step by step. <laughs> totally. I have never been up a staircase with so many steps, he said. Usually mountains don't have stairs, George said. And then he realized, this is just a story, and kept walking. <laughs> Verily, at the top of the steps, George saw an angel, the good kind that we established like 24 letters ago, was the gonna be at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Welcome, said the beautiful angel. Xenophobia kicked in, and George had a hard time accepting this. <laughs> you can't come in here, he said because of his xenophobia. <laughs> Very carefully, he walked in. Zoinks! Vinny forgot the alphabet! <laughs> Very nicely done, everybody. Thank you. Excellent. So we see how a story can go, and we can see how it can get off track, and then we see as successful improvers how we can pull it back on track, or as semi-successful improv actors. We had a great time with that. We urge you, does anybody out there see some fun in that? Somebody called out about a kangaroo, and that person wants to join us. Oh, well Susan was vocal for <laughs> seemingly no reason, but that is okay. We urge to see each and every one of you have the same visceral response to anything you see on the stage. 